Don't just stand there. Get that girl to safety while Lady Tsunade holds it back. Tsunade, fall back! Yeah. This thing, it's like a heap of boulders. So, its weakness would be... Lightning! I see. The strengths and weaknesses of the five great changes in nature work. Then, if we... It's no use! <laughs> Against Genyu, only this dragon blade can defeat them! Then... I'll just use this to defeat it! Be careful, Naruto. This battle won't be like the ones from before. That dragon blade does seem to be working against it. Naruto, I'll support you when you give me the signal. Give the signal when you need me. Here goes. Please aim for the shining scale. Shining scale. I see it. Let's finish this. Looks like you're awake. Grandma Tsunade? Huh? Why am I in the hospital? You don't remember. You fought that gigantic rock dragon. Oh. Oh yeah, that's right! What happened after that? Well, no. Actually, you just knocked it out. But it's not a threat now. It seems that Dragon Blade weapon you were using. It was what helped you deal with that great beast. Yeah, I remember that girl talking about it. That girl. Uh... Her name is Akari Tatsushiro. So, a giant... Earth Genryu was after the Dragon Blade you had, Akari. Yes. All of this happened because of it. Even those mud doll-like things that appeared in the village? Mugonpo. Soulless soldiers created to protect the Genryu. Who created those things? They were made in the days of old. 
Tatsushiro clan sealed them long ago. My brother, Kuruma. He revived them to gather the power of the Genryu. The power of the Genryu, huh? Since it was the Earth Genryu, I assume there are others, like fire and water. Yes. Fire, wind, lightning, earth, water. Those are the five Genryu. Combining the powers of the five dragons will grant unimaginable power. That's what Akari's brother is trying to do? Mm-hmm. But why? She said it's so he can destroy the world. To be honest, that doesn't sound very believable. To erase the natural energy of this world and create one where people can't live, those were his words. Reports from advanced troops sent to Mount Koryu say the land is deteriorating. It would seem that the area of destruction is expanding. This Kurama person, does this mean that he got this power to eliminate people who get in his way? Probably. It seems that Mount Koryu itself is a key to this as well. That's correct. Mount Koryu is a unique land to begin with. According to reports, entering Mount Koryu disrupts one's inner chakra. That means using ninjutsu becomes more difficult, making it harder to fight. Who's making all these reports you keep talking about? We needed to confirm Akari's story while you were unconscious. I put together a small team and sent them to Mount Koryu. We have confirmed the effect of the Genryu revival, as well as countless Mugonhei. Then what Akari said was... It's rather credible. On top of that, there's information that I obtained a while ago. The legends of the Genyu date back to ancient times. If they truly do exist, it's only natural that they couldn't ignore them. They? The Akatsuki could be involved with this as well. Master Jiraiya reported a number of Akatsuki are already heading to Mount Koryu. They may seek them in the same way they want the tailed beasts. Then Shikamaru and the others at Mount Koryu are... Right. Once Naruto wakes up, Lady Tsunade is ordering our team to go rescue them. That means Bushy Brow Neji and Shikamaru are still at Mount Koryu, right? Yes. We've lost contact with those three. Then we gotta help them now! <laughs> Not so fast. They're Leaf Ninja, too. They won't go down that easily. But isn't the Akatsuki headed there? Like I said, don't be so hasty. If you go there right now, you'll be in for a rude awakening. We've prepared some special equipment, even if it was a rush job. It will allow you to control your chakra in special places like Mount Koryu. Special equipment? Think of it as a special costume to wear while inside Mount Koryu. Once you've changed, meet up at the Hokage's house. I'll give you the mission. I will now explain the details of this mission. Team 7 will head to Mount Koryu. You have two objectives. The first is to rescue and join Shikamaru, Lee, and Neji. The other is to prevent Kuroma from continuing his destructive actions. 
According to the information we have gathered, Kuroma has amassed extraordinary power. I give you leave to take what steps you feel are necessary to deal with him. The second objective is also a request from Akari Tatsushiro. Hey! Naruto, save your questions for the end. It's all right. What is it, Naruto? Why is Akari's brother trying to do this in the first place? My brother said that it was revenge. Revenge? Revenge for what? Revenge against the world. My brother blames the world for what happened to him. The whole world, huh? That's a little over the top. Still, that giant Earth Genryo, along with all those Mugong Hei. If what appeared here in the village is just the tip of the iceberg, his claim of wanting revenge against the world might not be an exaggeration. But to go to such lengths for revenge, what did people do to your brother? That's... It may be related to this mission. We'd like to hear about it. Well... By the time we were old enough to understand, we were already drifting. We are the last descendants of a clan that was nearly wiped out and exiled. Because of our disfigurements, we were loathed, no matter where we went. Some hated us because we were exiled. At first, my brother hated the lives we had to lead. He later directed his anger at the great nations that destroyed our clan. Great nations? She means the land of fire and the other neighboring countries. This was probably before the Great Ninja Wars, before the current nations were formed. Sins of the father and all that. My brother Kuruma sees us as innocents. The ones at fault are those who created a world where only they can survive. And that's why he wants revenge? Yes. Of course, he understood that doing such a thing isn't possible. But he discovered the Dragon Blade and learned the dragons really existed. Once he learned that, he changed. Revenge and power change people. I have read as much. Kurama plans to use the Gendryu's power to become a light dragon. Taking the powers of the Genryu? But that's like... Captain Yamato! Sorry. That's okay. It's true that he becomes something like a Jinturiki. Naruto, please stop my brother. Even if you must. It may be necessary to sacrifice your brother. Are you prepared for that? He doesn't listen to reason anymore. I understand that.